Hello everyone. Agency Reporter, as you all know, has been hosting a special section called In Conversation With. Our guest for today is Raj Manak. Uh, he's the Managing Director of Messier Frankfurt Trade Fairs. Uh, welcome, Raj. Thank you. Raj, uh, let me start by asking you about the business of events in 2020. Uh, see, there's a huge difference between conducting events in 2019 uh, versus 2020. So how did you as an events company deal with the challenges as we have transitioned into, into this pandemic? How difficult was it for you guys? So um, you're right, there's a huge difference. Uh, we conducted um, in 2019, we conducted 11 exhibitions and 15 conferences. At the beginning of 2020, we were able to connect, con conduct a few of our exhibitions as normal. Up till up till the end of February, uh, and then the pandemic hit us. And since then, of course, you know, in India, we haven't had the permissions to go ahead with exhibitions again. Uh, so all we all we have done is prepare for these exhibitions. But of course, in the meantime, what we have been doing is obviously conducting uh, our digital uh, exhibitions and webinars. Uh, predominantly, all our webinars in order to stay connected with the industry to keep the industry. Uh, abreast of what's happening and us to be still in the forefront of saying yes we're ready for whenever we can start exhibitions again uh, and actually our first virtual exhibition uh, will happen in uh, later this month uh, on the 18th of September which is for our um, technology show ISH and that's going to be the first virtual exhibition for Mesa Franklin India um, do we want to do just a virtual exhibition? Of course not. Uh, we 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 are happy to be on a virtual platform, uh, but we also want to be on the physical platform first and foremost. So it's been um, it's been a very very um, difficult scenario in the sense of not knowing when the next when we can take our next steps. Uh, but in in terms of uh, using the digital platforms to stay connected with the industry has been very, very good. Uh, we've been able to conduct seminars, 60 plus webinars we've con uh, conducted so far uh, to stay with, uh, in touch with all the various industry sectors we're with, within. And um, they've been good, uh, except I will tell you personally now that I think most people, are, you know, they've had enough of the Zoom webinars, yeah? Uh, there's been so many uh, that there's only so many things you can discuss when nothing has happened. Uh, for every, pre pretty much every industry sector has stood still. Uh, so yes, the first few months, of course, there was many things to talk about and how we go forward in the future. After this, when everybody has been standing still, it's what's the next step, and we're all waiting. Absolutely, Raj. Mm. Can you Raj, talk about any new change that we can expect to witness? Uh, at exhibitions in the post-COVID era? Yeah, I think um, uh, the COVID era has really put a lot of things uh, from a safety and health perspective um, into, into, into the limelight, yeah? Because, you know, whatever we say, uh, we, we are all businessmen and we're all at one end or the other um, a, a person who would visit or a person who would exhibit. And the first thing that comes into our mind after living six months of COVID is safety now. Yeah, uh, I think uh, any person who is uh, living this COVID experience or has people who have had the, pand uh, had the virus, the safety aspect becomes extremely uh, important. The psychological effect of saying, I'm going to a crowded hall is something that doesn't matter who you are, it will, you will have a second thought on this. So I think the COVID era has made us now think very, very carefully about how we control uh, social distancing within a hall. So our SOPs, which we've been putting together, is how we can have uh, wider aisles. Uh, we have to have contactless registration, pre-registration, and then coming onto the grounds with a QR code. So that there's no queuing at a registration desk. And then, of course, even more important is how do you get people around a stand around a booth uh, and making sure that they are able to exchange details without having to have contact with each other uh, and conduct business. So we put in a lot of measures about um, 
entry, the uh, controlling the entry of visitors. So there is uh, a certain number of only a certain number of visitors per day inside the hall, possibly with uh, limited time slots. Um, there will be health uh, aspects of sanitizing people, um, making sure there's stringent um, um, temperature checks, uh, creating rooms if anybody we feel is um, not uh, in the right condition, then have uh, isolation rooms. So we, we're changing a lot of things to ensure that the the safety of our everybody who is on site, our, our customers, our visitors, our employees and any contractors is the uh, utmost uh, uh, priority now. And if people feel comfortable and know that the measures are taken in the correct and professional manner, then they will come. Uh, and I think that's very important because in order to reignite uh, this industry, we have to show that we've done everything we can to make it safe. And, and that has a knock-on effect of reigniting the economy. Yeah, because exhibitions are the uh, cornerstone of kicking, kickstarting any economy, uh, because this is where trade happens. So those aspects are going to be extremely important. Uh, we have, of course, in India uh, challenges because you know if I if I talk about these aspects in in Hong Kong or if I talk about these aspects in Frankfurt, they're very easy because the halls and the infrastructure is so well designed that you can put all these measures in and people physically see halls have been sanitized. Uh, people see this, uh, the sanitizing points and everything is so much more easily done through infrastructure. Whereas in India, we have these challenges. If I talk about uh, at the Bombay Exhibition Center, we will have challenges uh, to really ensure that people see the safety. If I talk about the old halls in Pragati um, you know that would be a challenge. I'm not sure the new halls may be better, and of course, infrastructure will be better. Uh, but uh, this, these are the these are the additional challenges we'll have in India uh, compared to what we do as a group um, globally. But uh, for sure, us we as Mesa Frankfurt will have these um, measures in place. I think also I have to say everything I've heard from the association, the Indian Exhibition uh, Industry Association. They are very, very keen on making sure these SOPs are in place and are going to be adhered to. Uh, I think it's important for the industry, actually. It's not a mess of Frankfurt thing. It's actually an industry aspect, which I think uh, will be very, very uh, keenly adopted by everybody. I'm sure, uh, Raj, there will be challenges. And I just hope you guys are able to conduct events uh, safely and efficiently. But do you think the significance of exhibitions uh, will decrease in the coming time for businesses uh, you know, as they find newer ways to connect with others. Uh, like I was just seeing uh, the other day, there is, there is uh, uh, there's someone who has started uh, virtual events, right? So do you think these are kind of threats for you? Uh, so if I'm very honest, you, I would have thought, I would have actually said, oh, this could be a threat for us in the beginning, yeah? Uh, but We've been through this for six months, and I can tell you that there is a huge pent-up demand uh, for the exhibitions to be back. Nothing can replace this face-to-face -face interaction. Nothing can replace uh, the touch and feel of seeing products, innovations, and hearing it from directly uh, from the, um, uh, the people who are uh, either producing the product or, or, or inventing the product or selling the product. The, the benefits of it. And, um, you know, we've been, as, as Mesa Frankfurt, we've been around for 780 years and we've gone through various plagues, viruses, uh, world wars, uh, cold wars, and every time the exhibition has been the biggest need after any of these crises to kickstart economies and kickstart the business. So I don't believe that the virtual exhibitions will be a threat in any way. But what I do believe is that the virtual exhibitions uh, will bring an added value into the ex exhibition platform. So, you know, hybrid exhibitions will become, I think, a, 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 a sort of a new norm where you have the physical exhibition, but you also have uh, the opportunity to have your products still displayed on the virtual exhibition where you can still connect to 
uh, some visitors or some buyers who could not make it to the physical exhibition, but they can contact, connect with you via the digital platform, be it via chat or via video conference. So I think the hybrid exhibitions will become a, a, a normal uh, scenario going forward because here in these six months, we've had no choice but to be on a virtual platform. Uh, I believe that the face-to-face -face meetings uh, just cannot be replaced. It's, it's something people want again. So that will come back. But I think the organizers and um, uh, even the uh, customers will know that actually there's another way of if we miss the exhibition or we cannot travel to an exhibition, then there is still a way of us, us contacting with these people. And I think that will become uh, a new norm. Sure, Raj, uh, you spoke about hybrid exhibitions. Considering that, what would be the way ahead for Messe Frankfurt as a group um, and in India? Uh, I think so. We, we, we as a group have always been on a digital platform anyway. You know, we've had uh, things such as uh, what we call MF.com, where we have always been able to give our exhibitors uh, not only the physical platform, but also another uh, platform, a digital platform in which their, their company can be showcased, their products can be showcased. Yeah, that's always been there. And I think all this has done is fast forward uh, our uh, investment into the digital platforms, fast forward um, the, the type of offerings that we can give to our customers. So, of course, we will still always focus on our physical uh, platforms and making sure we deliver the right customers, uh, the right buyers for our, for our exhibitors. Um, now, so even more so in a much more, in a much more organized manner. So I think uh, one aspect we'll, we will develop quite a lot will be the B2B meetings. Now, this is uh, globally we do it anyway, but in India, you know, the matchmaking, what they call matchmaking. Uh, scheduled meetings at the booth. This is was always quite a difficult scenario in India because um, the culturally, uh, if you're going to an exhibition, even if you've given somebody a time slot, they're not they're not so uh, vigilant about. Okay, I must be at his booth by two p.m. Yeah, if they turn up at two thirty or three p.m., they think oh, it's okay. I turned up. Whereas you know. Um, when you're doing real matchmaking, you have a whole schedule and the exhibitor has many, many different meetings scheduled. I think now with uh, the new norm, with uh, a limited number of people being able to come into a hall, this will become a much more important aspect to the exhibitor, uh, that he knows he's meeting um, you know, Mr. Shah at uh, 3 p.m. today. And Mr. Shah will be much more uh, vigilant about being at 3 p.m. at his booth because he knows that this is uh, a, a slot that he has to make and meet. So I think matchmaking will become a, an important digital aspect. We'll be doing the, 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 the process would happen offline, uh, digitally, and then of course it will, uh, it will take on, or physically will take place in the, in, the, in the halls. But then the virtual side, the hybrid side, uh, where exhibitors can be still on a digital platform for two or three or four or five weeks uh, following the show, still connecting with exhibitors uh, afterwards is, uh, I think, is an important, um, important aspect that will, be, that will be done. So um, I think that will, that will continue. Um, so I think the hybrid part of the exhibition now will be developed significantly by most organizers. Sure, Raj, exciting times ahead and uh, I really do hope uh, things with events industry, you know, really get better. Thank you so much, Raj, for talking to us and I really wish you all the best. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you and all the best. Take care.